Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Zoom networking event. We're starting it by happy birthday for Lassie, led by Adrian. Adrian, do you want to lead the happy birthday? Let's rock it, everyone. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lassie. Happy birthday, dear Lassie. Happy birthday, dear Lassie. Yes. Welcome everyone. We're gonna, hit, we're gonna hit the mute all key and we're gonna get underway. And welcome to our next networking zoom tonight. Thank you for coming along. It's an honor having you with us. We've got an incredible evening uh, upon us. Now, as you know, last time we had alien invaders attack. It was very distressing and very emotional, but tonight. Scott Morrison is with us. So Scott Morrison is here to make sure things go safely. So our glorious Prime Minister here to look after us. So I can't promise you there won't be any aliens, but I promise you I will crush them quickly and swiftly. So great having you with us. So tonight we've got a great evening planned. Um, again, it's Lassie's birthday. So um, if you're not connected with Lassie already, please friend her, send her lots of wishes. She appreciates it and she's done an amazing job. So friends, we've got a great networking event tonight. And we've got a few of our commanders here. We're going to dive right on in and just get into the heavy winning. We have got tonight the awesome Adrian Lee. Big round of applause for Adrian Lee, fitness guy. We've also got Celeste Ansell, a top LinkedIn influencer, amazing lady. And our other commanders tonight so far, of course, Lassie, who is the, the lady of the hour. Big round of applause for Lassie. Unsung hero, does a lot of work behind the scenes. And of course, they're all our commanders so far. So let's dive on in and get to it. So first things first, my friends, if um, who will get, Celeste, how are you feeling tonight? You want to say hello first? I do, hello, hello. Now, so Celeste, what do you do for a living and how do you help people? Oh, well, <laughs> um, I'm a coach. I'm in the coaching space and I specialize in LinkedIn. So I help people raise their, um, engagement, their network, and just winning on LinkedIn because it's one of the best organic platforms you can have on there in regards to social media. So I'm a super nerd. I absolutely love it. Oh, it's a pleasure and great having you with us. And Celeste, what are some of your tips for people to really get the most out of this networking experience tonight? Uh, firstly, if you haven't got your full name on your screen, you can update your username. The other day, someone, when I did my networking Zoom, they had all these letters and numbers. It's really easy just to change it so people can see who you are and if they're wanting to connect with you um, to do that. You can also message people privately on here and then you can download the chat at the end if there's lots of stuff happening and you can have a look at the links and everything that everyone's dropping because there is so much value to be shared here. Oh, it's a pleasure and a big thank you to Celeste and appreciate you. So welcome everyone. We've got a great uh, meeting on tonight and just a few things to help it go smoother. Um, when you speak, please unmute your microphone, then mute your microphone afterwards to keep it all going. You've also got the chat box as well as Celeste said, take advantage of the chat box and use it to connect with each other. Please as well, make sure you connect with Lassie as well over LinkedIn. She's doing a few posts, bringing everyone together. And the other thing I want to say as well, my incredible friends, when you pitch, it's good to go for about 30 to 45 seconds and be very clear and concise. It's definitely the way to go. You'll be more effective that way. And also too, please take photos tonight and put them on LinkedIn and Facebook and say you've had a great time. So my friends, how about we open, and we've got, 40, we've got 55 minutes left. So how about we open with a few elevator pitches? If you want to do a pitch to the room, can you put up your hand and keep it up so I can see it? But you want to do an elevator pitch? We've got Rachel one, Phoebe two, and Mark Olson uh, three. So Rachel, take it away. Thanks Ed, happy birthday Lassie. I'm Rachel, otherwise known as Focus Guru. I help overworked and overwhelmed business owners to take back control. How I do this is by reviewing their processes, systems and procedures to get to the root evil of that time eating, money draining, squirrel, 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 squirrel. If you have a squirrel, then ask me for a one-to-one -one and find out how I can save you over £2,000 a month. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, Rachel. And you're obviously squirrelophobic and so am I. So it's great having you with us, those squirrels. We need to build a wall and keep them out. That's all I can say. We've got the awesome Phoebe Lay. How are you doing this evening, Phoebe? 
Really good. It's so good to be here. Super excited. I've just come, like, literally ran back from a run. Um, duh. <laughs> and um, so I'm still, like, recovering and sweating. But um, it's, yeah, it's great to have, like, to, yeah, to see you guys all again. It's been super busy. Um, so, yeah, I'll jump into it. So um, for any of you who struggle with generating leads online, you're probably seeing that you know social media is obviously a platform where everyone is now showcasing their brand people are putting out content more than ever today 4.57 billion user internet which has increased by more than seven percent since 2019 and social media has increased more it increased by eight percent so now 3.81 billion users are on social media which means our competition is higher than ever so if you are spending a lot of time on social media, but you're not really finding that there's a correlation between the time that you spend on social media and the increase in your bank account and the number of clients that you're working with, then come along to my next webinar, which is on the 7th of July at 7 p.m. So that's 777, which is super easy to remember. At this webinar, I'm going to be covering how you can generate leads organically without spending a single cent on paid advertising, as well as how you create a marketing funnel using seven steps. So seven key ingredients to creating a marketing funnel. Um, so for anyone that wants to join, I will um, pop a link in the comment and it'd be great to see you guys on there. Phoebe, thank you. Round of applause to Phoebe, amazing lady who's in the zone. Who was our third person? They disappeared. Who was the third person that put their hand up? I think they disappeared. Hang on, who was it? Mark Holson, there you are, the handsome guy with hair, which is something I don't have. Mark, the floor is yours. The hair's fake, the tan's fake, the teeth are real. <laughs> um, I'm Mark, I'm a business enhancement coach. I'm in the UK. Um, I, I've worked my entire career, 22 years as a leader in corporate. Um, and one of the things that really upset me and made me become a coach is that around 80% of people in employment are disengaged and don't enjoy their job. So I want to change that. And what I do is I help leaders to become inspirational leaders who create a culture within their business that is dynamic, engaging, fun, inspiring. There's room for growth. Um, and, and that's it, really, in a nutshell. I just, I just want to change the working world. We spend 90,000 hours of our life at work, and I think everyone should love it. So that's my mission. Oh, Mark, noble. Round of applause to Mark. Thank you so much. And uh, one of our commanders um, has come in. We've got the awesome Carlo Goodsey. How are you doing, Carlo? How's life and everything? Oh, yeah, life's good here in the Wild West, so weather's good. Don't now, Carlo... Now, I was going to say, Carla, you're a top copywriter, you're a top marketer. Can you tell us a little bit about what you do and how you help people win big? Yeah, basically what I do is um, help people who are challenged to write content and uh, turn it into persuasive words with um, a twist of storytelling because nowadays to cut through, um, you need to do something different. Oh, well said. And Carlo, what are some of your favourite high converting words you want to share with people? Yeah, no, there's quite a lot of good ones, but to narrow it down, discover is one of the all time top advertising words. So that works. Introducing, unlock, unleash, uh, the word free. And don't forget you. That's probably the most powerful word in marketing. Oh, very well said. And Carlo, what are some of your tips tonight to help people maximize their networking experience with us yeah just have a good time uh connect with everybody in the chat uh also hit those three little dots at the bottom right hand corner and save the chat so you can follow up people later and if you can send new people a personalized linkedin message uh it's a little bit nicer and yeah just engage with one another and support one another and yeah we're here to win big Carlo, it's an absolute pleasure. Round of applause to Carlo. Big thank you. I want to take another three pitches from us stand Zoe Anna's one. Uh, Zoe put up her hand before. We've got Zoe Anna, Tracy Kitching. Who else wants to pitch? Hand up nice and high and hold it up. We've got Zoe Anna, Tracy Kitching, and that real sexy guy called Matt Wolf. So there you go. So Zoe Anna, take it away. Oh, unmute yourself so we can hear your wonderful British accent. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, so I'm Zoe Anna. I work with creative. Uh, 
<laughs> that little bit of a mind flip. Courageous men hire me to help save their relationships, marriages. So I work with them so they can bring more of them into the bedroom, from boardroom to bedroom. And basically, so they can start to have the relationship that they desire and they deserve. I'm based here in Sydney, Australia. And that's basically it. Working and, with men and couples. So, Anna, what does it say on the wall behind you? Happiness is an inside job. So, if you're a man, it's not your job to make her happy. She needs to find a way to make her happy. And for most of us, it's our content creation of what we're doing with our purpose, which is the key to our happiness. Oh, well said. Round of applause to Sammy Anna, and thank you. And we've got a powerful lady full of mojo and wellness, Tracy Kitchen. How are you doing this evening? <laughs> Um, extraordinary. Um, Ed, thank you very much. Um, tonight, I'm not actually going to pitch about my health side of my business. I am going to talk about the charity side of my business because we have a charity called Caring Hands. And today I went on a volunteering mission with Backpacks for SA Kids um, that where we help uh, make backpacks for displaced children, um, especially with what's going on in the world today there is a lot of displaced children. So um, I would like to say a big thank you for having me on, but also a plea for donations. So I'm going to pop a link in the um, comments to um, our charity and we would really appreciate um, some potato packs bought because they have our nutrition in them and they're sent out to children who are displaced and in need of nutrition. So um, yeah, they go out to all around the world and um, anyone in the world can click on those links and donate. So all donations are greatly received. <laughs> oh, Tracy, round of applause to Tracy. In fact, I wanna unmute all. Tracy's doing on the same, I unmute all. Can we give a round of applause to Tracy? That's beautiful. Thanks. That awesome work, Tracy. Great. Absolutely admirable. And I um, actually just thought of a great idea. Um, if you've got charities you want to talk about, you've got more than enough time to present them as well. So, um, yeah, if you present a charity, Tracy, feel free to come back in later and pitch your business as well. It's only fair that you do that. So, again, charities, great idea from Tracy. If you've got a charity, feel free to pitch it and you can still pitch your business. We'll come back to Tracy later. Um, how is my sexy Deadpool Ryan Reynolds friend Adrian going? Is he there or is he um, busy? Having a beer. There he is. How you doing, Adrian? You're close. I'm having a, a water. Well, good for you. I'm drinking some kombucha. Kombucha. Oh, yummy. Now, I was going to ask you, Adrian, um, you're a very smart, handsome guy. Can you tell everyone very quickly what you do and how you help people win big? Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Adrian. I'm an online personal trainer, and I simplify fitness for busy men and women. Um, and it helps strengthen their bodies and minds uh, through flexible online coaching that they can fit into their schedules. And that's, that's what I do, dude. Oh, it's do a pleasure. And Adrian, what are some of your tips for people to get the most out of this networking evening tonight? Um, well, obviously, uh, connect with everyone. Don't be shy. Um, embrace the moment, you know, uh, the present moment. And, um, yeah, just get out there and connect and have a chat and happy days. Oh, Adrian, love your work. Round of applause to Adrian. Great guy. Make sure you talk to him. Oh, and just one quick thing that Adrian reminded me of as well. Um, this is for Australia. Um, please check in your own local area. Um, probably in, in August, I need to talk to Celeste about this one, actually. In August and September, we're actually restarting our face-to-face -face meetups across Australia. So um, stay tuned for that one. We're looking at um, pending approval, we're looking at Tuesday, the 4th of August evening for our first face-to-face -face meetup again in Sydney. Um, keep an eye on your cities. Um, Adrian looks after Melbourne, Carlo looks after Perth, and Matthew looks after Queensland. He's not in tonight. So just keep an eye for that one. Our face-to-face -face meetups are coming back. So stay tuned for that one. So it's a big thank you. So I want to take a few more pitches from the room. Uh, who here would love to pitch the room? Raise your hand nice and high so I can see it and hold it up. We've got Shreyas, uh, Matt. Oh, sorry, I missed you, Matt. We'll do Matt, Shreyas, then Marilyn. My bad. Matt. The floor is yours. 
<laughs> Thanks so much. I apologize. My bad. Yeah, right. Extra time. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem at all. G'day, everybody. Awesome to be here. Uh, my name is Matt Wolf. I am a presentation designer. Uh, I enable pro uh, professionals to deliver their message visually. And that's across PowerPoint, Keynote, Google Slides, and the rest. Uh, I have a belief that 90% of most presentations out there today are boring. And that's no one person's fault. It's just that their message gets lost in a sea of slide fodder. So I help professionals cut through that and make sure that their message is short, concise, and inspires engagement and also inspires action. Nice and simple. Oh, very nice. Great one, Matt. I want to do a quick poll of the room. Who here wants me to eat this whole Kit Kat or be socially responsible and just eat one piece? So um, put up your hand if you want thumbs up to eat one slice. Thumbs down if you want me to scoff it all down. I want the room to decide. Thumbs down to scoff it all. All right, we're going to have to scoff it all. It's what the crowd says. Tracy's the only one defending my health. Everyone else says, Edward, your gluttony in our entertainment is more important. I agree with you. So thank you for that. Shreyas, the floor is yours while I scoff down this Kit Kat. Yeah, thanks, Ed. Thanks for the opportunity. Hello, everyone. I'm Shreyas. I'm based in Bangalore, India. Uh, I'm an automotive engineer by profession, transitioning to become an executive coach where I guide my clients to come up with a very clear vision on uh, where they want to be in their life or career and I help them to achieve their goals and dreams. So as a matter of fact, my coaching business went live yesterday and I had my very first client uh, today morning. Uh, so I'll be dropping a link to my can leave and to book a free 30 minute discovery call so we can just see if we are the right fit. So that's about me. Shreyas, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much and bless your amazing heart. And I think we've got our awesome, indef indefatigable friend, Marilyn, Dr. Marilyn Scott from the States. How are you doing tonight, Dr. Tonight, Dr. Marilyn? Actually, it's morning for me. Very early morning. But your, your event is worth getting up for. Definitely. Oh, bless your heart for that. You get extra time. And, Do I? <laughs> and Scott Morrison and I wish you the best, our glorious Prime Minister. My... I am Dr. Marilyn Scott. I'm a naturopathic doctor, and my focus right now is helping people with stress, anxiety, and fear. And I have modalities that I use to help people um, with their to to contain their stress and get rocking and rolling when uh, all this is all this event with COVID lifts eventually so that's what i'm helping people with i'm a breath worker i'm a homeopath and i'm an aromatherapist i do a lot of other things and so if anybody needs help you know somebody that needs help with their stress because 90 percent of the people who go to the doctor are sick they're really sick but the root cause is stress so let's get your stress under control and keep on rocking and rolling thank you edward Oh, Marilyn, it's a pleasure. Thank you so much. And uh, just want to give a quick shout out. Um, I won't put her on the spot just yet, but my friend Margaret Lilburn signed in. So my friend Margaret's here. She's an amazing lady. Everyone show Margaret lots of love. And Margaret, feel free to um, um, pitch later on or say hello. Just want to say a big shout out and lots of love to Margaret. We're catching up tomorrow in the city, so looking forward to it. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is um, we're um, at 20 minutes in. We're doing very, very well for time. I actually want to, we've reached the bit of the meeting, a very exciting part of the meeting, where I actually wanted you to start sharing ideas to improve the world. So if you've got an idea to improve the world, now is your time to share it. So if you want to share an idea to improve the world, put up your hand. I want to hear your idea to improve the world. What, who's got an idea to improve the world? Well, Margaret Lilburn, of course. Margaret, the floor is yours. Hello, everybody. We should take advantage of this COVID time. It's changed the world. There are so many opportunities. As Edward eats all of his Kit Kat. <laughs> yes, but there are so many opportunities for us to actually take advantage and to actually do what we want to do because the world has changed forever because of COVID. I don't know if a lot of people realise that. And there's some exciting initiatives that are happening as a result of that. Now, I'm very well known as a connector. So um, whatever it is I need, I am so good at finding them. And I am going to be involved in a huge project. So um, change the world, one idea at a time. Be grateful. 
and look for opportunity. Oh, well said. Round of applause to Margaret. Thank you, Margaret. Everyone, make sure you want to uh, connect with Margaret. Um, yeah. Idea to improve the world. Who else has an idea to improve the world? Matt Wolf and then Wendy Nichols. So Matt, then Wendy Nichols. Please, Matt, all yours. One simple thing. Smile. <laughs> the amount of people that I don't see smiling is actually atrocious. You look, on, look on LinkedIn. Look at all the profile pictures. I, I, I'd put a really high percentage, like in the high 70s, high 80s, of profile pictures of people that just aren't smiling. Just loosen up, lighten up, smile a bit more, and you know what? More happiness will come your way. I, I, I can't be much more of an advocate for that. Plain and simple, smile. Oh, I agree. I think all those people with unhappy photos should pull the brimstick, brimstick out of their bottoms and enjoy some joy is all I can say. There you go. And speaking of joy, happiness, and abundance, we got my friend Wendy Nickel. How are you doing tonight, Wendy? Hello. Yeah, I'm going great. My, my idea to improve the world is simple. Because um, I'm a buyer's agent, so I'm about finding the best home for people who are looking and can't find it. So if, if you guys own a home and then you go and sell it, wouldn't it be nice if you made the real estate agent actually do a description that is accurate, the good and the bad, so that the person who's meant to find your home next actually finds it easily? Yeah, that would be, that would oh, make my job easier too, you know, to be honest. Yeah. And just, Wendy, before you go, yeah. you're also a singer, aren't you, with some cool stuff on Spotify. Is yes. that correct, Wendy? Uh, yes, I am, under Frankie and Wendy Duo. And we've got a new single coming out, I believe. Um, my publisher's sticking it up and promoting it on Facebook from tomorrow. Well, yeah. you better um, share the link tonight, shouldn't you, Wendy? Yeah. I haven't got the link yet, yet Ed. So uh, next next meetup, I'll share it for sure. Yeah. That's the spirit. Wendy, big round of applause. Thank you. Thank I you actually want to pick on someone right now. Um, a very special, special character. She's an amazing lady. She's a leader. She's brilliant. And she runs... For networking, I think Mel was here before, but she's uh, taken a nose dive. Oh, no, no, my bad. My apologies, Mel. You're in Hi. charge of you're in charge of for networking now. Can you tell uh, everyone what it is? Yeah, for networking, I'm actually the group leader for Down Under. Rachel is the ambassador host, so she's actually the one that, that tells me what to do. <laughs> but I I, <laughs> um, I actually lead it, so I come through. So what happens is everybody does a forty second. Um, introduction pitch, everybody, including me. Then we have a foresight, which is another name for a guest speaker. Um, and then afterwards, we all have three one-to-one -one, um, per private calls, which are arranged by our group um, coordinator, who's the awesome Charlotte Elizabeth. Um, and then we have the, the shutdown. And then we have, we also have um, the latest news from Forum. And what I'd like is I want to get to a 75% down under attendance every week by the end of this year. So I have posted the link in the, the chat. So come on, everybody. And just so you know, I'm also doing a foresight on the 28th of July about my transgender story and how to educate other people. So. Mel, noble, stunning and brave. And just before you go, Mel, so yep. when is the next four networking event? When is it? It's on next Tuesday at 10 a.m. UK time, 7 p.m. Sydney, Melbourne, Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and we have the amazing Jodie Philpotts on, who I'm looking forward to, to hearing her um, chat. So it'll be a lot of fun. Oh, so come, on, guys, come on, guys, if you haven't been yet, come on down. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I will say um, that I'm going to be awarding two tickets um, because I wasn't on Tuesday night because I was stupid. I'm going to award two tickets, as Celeste already knows, to two people that will um, get um, free access to my four networking, four sighting on Tuesday, July the 28th. So if, right. you, if you want that, come on down. Pleasure. Thank you, Mel. Can you reshare the link again? Round of applause to Mel. Rachel Shiverton, will you like to comment? Uh, Rachel Shiverton, are you there? Rachel? Now, Rachel took a dive. Um, yeah, well, that's a pity, Rachel, but Mel stole all the glory. So, my friends, I want to ask you all a question. Is it all right if I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? Raise your thumbs up. Thumbs up if I can ask you a question. 
Who here thinks it's awesome that it's Lassie's birthday today? If you think it's awesome, can I get two victory signs for Lassie? It's Absolutely. Lassie's birthday. Show her lots of love. She absolutely deserves it. She's an amazing woman. She works like a trooper. She doesn't get the recognition she deserves, and we're going to change that tonight. And in fact, um, I understand that Lassie is probably about 10 followers off 30,000 followers on LinkedIn right wow. now. So she, she might be there already. I'm not too sure. Um, did you want to comment, Lassie? Do you want to tell us where you're at? No, Lassie, Lassie chooses her right to remain silent. She's almost there. So make sure you show Lassie a bit of love so she can get her over 30,000 followers today. It's a pleasure. So thank you, friends. What I'm going to do is we're only still halfway, Mark. I want to get a few more pitches. Who here wants to pitch? If you want to pitch, raise your hand. We've got Teddy. Uh, who else wants to pitch? Um, feel free to re-pitch again if you speak. we got Chris. Uh, we've got Teddy, Chris, and Brittany. Brittany. I've got you, Alison and Celeste. Don't worry, i got you guys. So, um... My brain just went, went offline again. Who was first again? My brain just shut down on me. Phew. Who was it again? My brain just shut down. Come on. Teddy, Teddy, she's ready to go. Teddy, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Teddy, you get extra time for that. The floor is yours. Ready to go. Before I start, I want to give a shout out to Celeste. I had, I'm very new to LinkedIn, so um. I'm trying to learn as much as I can. And I was recommended to Celeste. So I had my first uh, mentoring session with Celeste this afternoon. And this is my first challenge <laughs> um, from her is to do my pitch. So here we go. My name is Sadie Judson. I'm based in Sydney and I'm your inner power coach. Um, a lot of people come to me with various issues, but when it comes right down to it, the real issue is their sense of powerlessness. Whatever area in life it is that they're dealing with, they have a feeling of powerlessness. And that's where I come in. What I do is I help people find that power by helping them with a strategy to step into that inner power um, by being able to access that inner power that they have 24 seven and at will. And that's what I teach them. There's many different processes, but. I can work with them on a particular process that they can apply with the, on, to their life immediately. Oh, like Teddy. You, if there's an area of your life that um, you feel powerless about, connect with me on LinkedIn and um, we'll do a discovery session. Oh, Teddy, amazing. And just before you go, isn't Celeste Ansel an amazing influencer and leader? Tell, can you tell oh, everyone how oh awesome you God. find her? So much. She rocks. <laughs> why does she rock? Can you tell everyone why she rocks? Because she's very knowledgeable in her craft and she's very helpful. It's, it's not only her amazing knowledge about the subject itself, but her ability to really connect with what it is that you want to do and help you find those um, little um, ideas that you're missing and uh, you may not necessarily be thinking of and she gives it to you <laughs> so, it's amazing she has this you know this inner power <laughs> oh, that's a spirit teddy you got great taste of character everyone we highly recommend celeste celeste how are you doing this evening i just muted myself oh, i'm so, so excited i had the best time with teddy <laughs> we both um we both realized that we um used to swim so we were talking about swimming which was cool <laughs> yeah now i was gonna say celeste while i've got you um you're really in sync with linkedin what are some of the new things that you've seen on linkedin uh, lately and what are some of your hot juicy tips yeah so there's a few things um that you can do it depends on what stage you're at um i do speak to a lot of people who say they've been inactive for a long time and they don't know what they're doing Honestly, um, it's about giving back to people. So if you are a bit shy and you're not sure about your content and what to put out there, I would start connecting with people and liking and commenting on other people's stuff. And what happens is a notification gets sent through to that person when you like and comment on their things. And so you become a little bit on the forefront of their feed and they, they start going, well, who's this person? What's going on there? And then they can go pop over to your profile. So if you want to start doing something like that, that's how you can get active. And then people are liking and commenting on your stuff as well. It's just this lovely little circle. Um, another thing that's happened recently is there's been LinkedIn stories, which is very similar to Facebook and Instagram. And basically it's a post you can do that lasts for 24 hours. So you don't have to clog your stuff. So let's say, for example, you're um, like Margaret, she's, 
you know, got this event coming up. She wants to smash it. She wants to advertise it a lot. But if she put it on every single post, it might come across as spammy. But if she put it in her stories, then she can have that. It disappears. And the next day, it's all brand new again. And that's a great way to actually put a bit of fun stuff in there. I like putting food in there. But, you know, that's not always the purpose. But, you know, just give it a go. Be brave. And if you need help, contact me. Oh, Celeste, thank round of applause. You. A big thank you. Big thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I've missed a few people, my bad. Um, we'll go Brittany, then Chris Sorello. So my apologies. Uh, I need more coffee. Brittany, how are you doing this evening? Or oh, morning? Uh, morning. It is 1.31 a.m. on this lovely Thursday morning in California. I am uh, Brittany. Hey, guys. What's up? Uh, Twan's resume is here. Uh, I do resumes. Just kidding. Uh, I also do consultation, uh, job coaching, um, best practices for recruitment. Um, I also, like Celeste, do um, LinkedIn updates. She does more of a social thing. I do more of a job thing, uh, but we all integrate, I'm sure. Um, and uh, what else do I do? I'm a full-time smart ass. So thanks for having me. And uh, yeah, that's it. Excellent, Brittany. It's an absolute pleasure and bless your amazing heart. And Chris Sorello, you've been wanting to go for about three hours now. Chris, it's <laughs> finally your turn and bless your heart. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm Heidi. I'm Chris's wife. And um, I've jumped on his call. He's not able to escape me at the moment because we're halfway through uh, quarantine in Sydney. Um, so I've just jumped on here because I wanted some human interaction uh, in my day. And we have actually been in India for the last two and a half years, working with the national men's hockey team. Chris is a coach and I've been teaching English. Um, and so we're just doing our quarantine here and we've been in lockdown in a facility in India for over a hundred days. So we've kind of used that strange time to work on an online business. Um, and we're really excited. We're ready to um, launch our new online coaching business. So I'm working with empowerment coaching um, and Chris is going to tell you a little bit about the coaching he's going to do. So I'm a performance coach and I work with athletes and executives to help them perform under pressure in their peak state to break through limitations and their beliefs. Uh, I've been lucky enough to play two Olympics, win Olympic medal, uh, come off games, two gold medals for Australia. Uh, and we've been able to travel to over 40 countries around the world. So we've got quite a bit of experience uh, and being able to help people is really something we're both passionate about. Oh, well, that's a spirit. What a powerhouse duo. A round of applause. Appreciate you awesome people and bless your amazing heart. I'm probably missing a stack of people, but uh, my apologies for that. But I actually want to, um, in fact, Tracy was putting up her hand before. Were you putting up your hand before? Yeah, Tracy, uh, the floor is yours. Thank you so much, Ed. Okay, well, here goes my pitch. I help people uh, get a better quality night's sleep and have sustained energy throughout their day all through natural nutrition. Um, I'm really super excited to see Chris on there because I work with high performance athletes as well as everyday people. So um, it's super fun and um, it's all done through whole food supplementation and coaching you through it. So I love what I do and I love help seeing people go from their issues to living a full life. So that's me. Oh, Tracy, it's a pleasure. Round of applause, massive. And just so you know, Tracy's an amazing lady. Known her for a long time. So show tra Tracy lots of love. So Tracy, it's a pleasure. Now, we're, um, based on the inspiration from Tracy, I'm going to steal her technology here. We've created a brand new section on the spot in real time well, here's an opportunity for us to share our favorite charities. Um, we're gonna call it the Kitchen Project, where we share our favorite charities. So this is your opportunity to share a charity that you're excited about. And I'm gonna fire the first shot. One of my favorite charities is actually the Salvation Army. Um, I spent, a, you know, as you know, I've spent a few times homeless in my life, some short, some long, some as a child, some as a veteran. And it was the Salvation Army that was always there to back me. So I'm a huge Salvos fan. So if you ever see a Salvos guy, Dig generously. So that was my first shot. Who here wants to share a charity that they think is awesome? And you might be the owner of that charity too. Um, it might be, for example, the Carlo Guzzi Foundation. 
uh, for handsome Italian entrepreneurs. So whatever it is. So who's got charity they want to share? Put up your hand. Um, we've got Celeste, Matt, and Mel. So okay, Celeste, Matt. Okay, go Celeste, yours. I actually want to second you on the Salvation Army. Um, not a lot of people know it. it's actually um, a branch of Christianity. So it's a church movement too. And what they strongly believe in is um, doing charitable works and that's part of what they give to the community. So my family on my dad's side um, was brought up that way and they go around and they get posted to different communities and they basically build up that community. And part of that is doing things like Red Shield Appeal, doing a lot of work with homeless people, um, people in regards to their housing um, and also if they're struggling with um, you know, getting furniture and stuff like that. I have just such a love for um, places like that. And so I just wanted to second Ed on that because um, very generous souls and they've got great uniforms too. They always look good. <laughs> Ooh, no, nothing like a man in uniform, huh, Celeste? Hey, yeah. That's a, that's a spirit. That applause. Thank you, Celeste. Speaking about sexy hot men, Matt Wolf. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> My uh, the, the the charity that I believe incredibly strongly about is a is a charity called the Bee Center. Uh, the Bee Center they are a play therapy for children that have been through traumatic events. Uh, they have various centres scattered across Australia, uh, and what they do is they work with. As an example, recently when I say recently, within the last eighteen months, there was a, a horrific bus accident where uh, it was actually carrying quite a few children. Uh, and those, one of those uh, children actually stopped talking. The, the event was so traumatic uh, that the child just went completely mute. Now, what they do is they work with that child one-on-one -on -one or in group, whatever, however it works, to enable them to begin to talk about what had happened and to help them open up to be able to work through that particular challenge. So, as I said, it's the Bee Centre. They're an amazing group of people. Um, I, I've, I've known them for 10 years now, and they are just like you lot beautiful humans uh so the b center bcenter.org.au i'll uh, throw the link in the uh, chat yeah beautiful share link thank you matt appreciate you bless your heart and make, next time you pitch make sure you take your top off you look great uh, rachel shepherd the floor is yours how you doing rachel i don't quite know how to follow that ed um, yeah i'm good i'm good thank you the charity i want to give a shout out I don't know whether there's a similar one in Australia, is called the Dogs Trust. And they take dogs that are either been on the street or their owners can no longer take care of them and rehome them. The difference with the Dogs Trust is they never put a healthy dog down. So for as long as that dog is alive and not a threat to anyone, it's kept alive through donations and um, volunteers. And that's in fact where we got our dog Missy from. She was a rescue dog from the Dogs Trust, um, and she's absolutely beautiful. So think about the animals as well as the humans. Oh, Rachel, noble and beautiful. Ram, applause to you. And uh, Mel, Mel, uh, please, the floor is yours. Yep. Hey, guys. Um, this is a personal thing for me. It's the Cancer Council of Victoria and New South Wales, the Cancer Council Australia. Um, my mother passed away from cancer um, almost 29 years ago, so I do a lot of work for them. I've actually done events coordinator for um, various um, events and all that. Um, and what I'm doing is this month, my novels or my ebook, sorry, 50% uh, off and 10 cents per ebook sold goes to Cancer Council Victoria. And I actually want to get back into volunteering, doing all this stuff again. So the more, the more ebooks that I start getting, so um, being owned, I can actually uh, go back into the volunteering. I actually do miss working at St Kilda Road. So, and the other thing is too, today I was in um, a major um, stationery store. They were actually taking donations for Beyond Blue. So I donated $5 to Beyond Blue. I think it's a great organisation. So that's another thing too. So thanks guys. Oh, here, here, Mel. Thank you so much. Um, the few other people want to talk about charities. Um, yeah, Alison Rose, I gotcha. Alison Rose, uh, floor is yours. Okay, um, the charity that um, I really like to support is Lifeline. Um, and Lifeline is a suicide prevention and crisis prevention um, charity. 
and they have a 24 hour, seven day a week counselling, phone counselling, where anyone can call up and speak to anyone that's on the call <laughs> and talk to counsellors who can actually, you know, help listen to them and find help them to find um, a way through it and resources and stuff like that. Um, they hold a book fair, the South, this, the South, yeah, the South Coast one that I'm near, they have a, um, a book fair every twice a year and I help to volunteer at it. Um, and it massive with like, what was the last one? 20, 70, uh, 75,000 books or 175,000 books. It's like crazy. Um, yes, yeah, so that helps to raise money too. So I know a lot of people that have um, had children who've committed suicide and it's all very in the news these days. So. Oh, powerful. And just before you go, Alison, um, you're an author yourself. What's the name of your book while we got you very quickly? Okay. Uh, so um, I'm Alison Rose Clark and um, I wrote the book, I Don't Hate Me Anymore. Um, and so I'm a survivor of um, domestic violence times four, um, as well as abuse and other trauma growing up. Um, one day I just realised that I didn't like myself anymore and that and that I actually hated myself and that's why I allowed people to um, treat me badly, abuse me. So then that started my journey into um, onto learning to love myself. Um, I created a treatment plan so I can recognise good treatment, which I call green flags. <laughs> um, you've got red flags so now you've got green flags as well. Um, and so that's eventually led to writing my book. So in that, um, in that, I take you through through my through, through that journey, and um, the aim is to help you love yourself too. At the end of it, I think it's powerful, Alison. I think you should share the link. I think we need to unmute all and give Alison a round of applause. Get ready, everyone. Alice, it's love to Alison. Great job. We're right with you. A lot of love directed at you. Make sure you share that link. And speaking yep. of love and me wanting to get guys to take their shirts off, we've got another handsome, hot, bald guy on the line tonight. He's um, probably better looking than me. Very hot, savvy guy. He's a man of money. And we've actually spoken a lot about money and topics and especially how it impacts women. Michael Dehan, how are you doing this evening? I'm mute, man. We've got to hear your sexy voice. <laughs> really good, mate. Yourself? Michael, it's an honor to have you with us. Can you tell us very quickly what you do and how you help people? Yeah, so I'm a financial wellbeing coach. So a lot of what I see is this financial stress with um, especially business owners and women in particular. And financial stress doesn't serve people. It makes them sick, affects their relationships, and it doesn't make them lead their best lives. So we work through that. A lot of it's subconscious. I think we talked tonight about people's journeys and what they hold inside. So I get people to look inside. Don't look at external for whatever validation, whatever you want to call it. Look inside, let's work on this. Change beliefs, change some behaviours and have an abundance of money coming in so you can be the best that you can be, you know. Start charities, do give back. Yeah. Very noble. And I was going to ask you, Michael, again, you work with women, which is very noble of you. How come women, I'm talking overall, mind you, end up behind later in life? What are some of the reasons that occurs? Yeah, that's a really good question, Ed. So a lot of them take on a caring role and they take on more sort of part-time work. They don't get paid as much as a male does. That is changing, so kudos. <laughs> but there, there's, as I said, a lot of stuff going on in their life that doesn't support them. They've got 50% of super that the males have. So we just need to do a lot more work to empower women to have that sort of same financial freedom that males do. Oh, Michael, it's very noble. Give a round of applause to Michael. And Michael, please share your links if you're upcoming. In fact, before you go, Michael, you've got, a, you've got upcoming webinars and stuff. You've got a webinar coming up or whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm interviewing six empowering women that use their voice. And they've used that voice to influence community, influence business, influence other women. So it's coming up over the next sort of six to eight weeks. I'm just so excited. Um, it's going to be learning for me, learning from a lot of a lot of women out there and men. Yeah, 
Michael, it's Noble. Make sure you share those links. Round of applause to Michael and thank you. Now, friends, I'm just looking at the time that we've got about 14 minutes left. What I actually want to do now is I want to do elevator pitches and I want to invite people in the room who are feeling a bit sheepish about it. So if you haven't pitched yet, if I've accidentally missed you, my apologies. Um, now is your time to pitch. So this is pitching about your business, right? So we've got anyone who else wants to pitch, please don't feel shy. Um, I, got, I, was little, I was waiting for you, Corrine. I was going to pick on you if you didn't put up your hand, Corrine, but we got you. Got Annie, Corrine. Uh, who else wants to pitch? Again, if you're a quiet person, I don't give a shit. Just put up your hand. Oh, and um, Elwanda. Got you, Elwanda. We got you. So, well, my brain just froze again. I got a, I need more coffee. Annie Payton, take it away. Okay, thanks, Edward. Um, like Mel and Ali, I'm also an author. This is my book, The Strength Within. I'm a three times cancer survivor. I was at first diagnosed 40 years ago. So for me, cancer is not a death sentence. But if you may have missed it last uh, week, I ran a little competition for you guys um, to invite you to follow me on Instagram. A few of you did that, which I really appreciate and thank you. And I had a book on offer and the person that won that book was Carlo Guzzi. So congratulations to Carlo. And oh I think my it's on his way. Well, that's pretty cool. Carlo, would you like to respond to that? What's your feelings of winning the book? Uh, yeah, thanks. And yeah, it's an honour and I uh, can't wait to read it. And hopefully it's in the post tomorrow. Oh, it's a pleasure. And Carlo, before we let you go and I jump on an awesome Kareem from the NHS, Carlo, what's that free giveaway you got for everyone? Yeah, I'll call it the Al Pacino giveaway. So it's the 120 most powerful words in the English uh, language. So, uh, yeah, just mention that word on LinkedIn if we're connected or in the group chat if we're not. And happy to send it over to you. Otherwise, it's 100 bucks. Oh, there you go. So if you tell, El, if you tell Carlo Al Pacino's grace actually you go for free, otherwise give him 100 US dollars. Carlo, it's a pleasure and thank you so much. Kareen Bennett from the NHS. Oh man, you guys are doing it tough right now. How are you doing, Kareen? Hi guys, I'm doing very well, thank you. Um, you know, the last three months being in, being at home has been stressful. I work in finance for the NHS, so everyone in the corporate side has been running the ship on empty, literally. So, but now that we're all back in on site, and I'm at the hospital recently, it's like. How do I go back to being organised as a busy mother, a busy wife and juggling everything? So now I've decided that I'm just going to take a few simple steps, pre prepping my meals and also taking one room, at, one room a day tidying up to relieve all the stress and anxieties because, you know, how we survive pre-lockdown is not how we should be doing it now because we're so relaxed and we've got a different mindset haven't we so it's all about change and that's what yeah that's what I wanted to say <laughs> thank you oh Corrine Noble round of applause to Corrine and um Corrine's with the NHS they're doing it tough they're the front line of the troops can we give a round of applause to Corrine and the NHS this is for you amazing people well done Corrine Woo! God bless the NHS. You guys are the first and last line of defence in what's going on worldwide, and we appreciate you. And, of course, as well, who else was it? We got Elwanda Bennett. How you doing this evening, Elwanda? The floor is yours. I'm outstanding. Thanks, everybody. Nice to meet you. I'm looking forward to connecting with everybody on LinkedIn. I'm Dr. Elwanda Bennett. My company is called Integrity Team Building Services, and we'll be sponsoring virtual team building. So I'm really looking forward to that. It's a relatively new business for me. I come out of the consulting space. I currently work at Port of Houston Authority. I live in Houston. Um, and what's happening is that our, our uh, state opened and then they closed like this week. So we were on lockdown and then we got let go from lockdown and the cases spiked and went all over the place. So we are back in quarantine again. And um, I'm just praying for the world and hoping that everyone is having um, 
a time where they can feel centered. I know that we're isolated, but this coming together is just a happy thing. Thank you for inviting me, Edward. I'm a major fan of yours, and I certainly appreciate your time. Nice to meet everyone. Oh, uh, Dr. Alwanda, it's a pleasure. I just need to say it. I love your accent. Your accent is awesome. Um, can I get two thumbs up if you think Dr. Alwanda has the coolest accent ever? That's pretty cool. So there you go. In fact, I'm from think- New Orleans. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, I love it. The Louis- I live in Texas, so I can't get out of the Southern draw for whatever <laughs> I'm doing. <laughs> Unfortunately, the doctor di- doctor didn't take it away. I was hoping after I finished school that I would be much more eloquent sounding like Maya Angelou, but in fact, I just still sound like me. I don't know why that happened. No, keep the accent. It's awesome. We appreciate you. Gotta say, I love your accent. Now, we've got 10 minutes left. What I want to do, uh, for, yeah, everyone agrees, um, put up, give me victory signs if you think our doctor friend should never lose her accent. That's an awesome accent. Keep it. Totally, totally. Now, what I want to do is we've got about eight minutes left. I want to get our photos now. Almost got so there's two screens. Um, what we're going to do is take our photos now. And again, if you haven't already, make sure you connect with Lassie as well. I'll be taking photos to um, upload on uh, the photos will be going on LinkedIn, uh, Meetup, Instagram, Facebook, uh, you know, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, and the like. Um, so it'll be really, really good. So what we'll do then, um, so get ready, make sure your webcam is on. I've got, we'll do it twice because I've got two screens to work with. So everyone, smile and hold the pose so we get good screenshots. Take your photos now, friends. Excellent. We've got screen one. Keep taking your photos. Stand by. Excellent. Oh, great job. Great job. Mel's got a Turkish delight. Oh, I'm still going to learn his PC. All right, and this is screen two. So everyone, please smile again. Uh, we've got two screens to work to smile again. Look all sexy and beautiful. Excellent. Phoebe has had her coffee today. She's in the zone. So there you go. So it's an absolute pleasure. So I'm just checking the time. We have got about uh, ten or uh, five minutes left. Okay. So what I want to do is we've got seven minutes left. What I want to do is. Who wants to say something? Half a minute to 45 seconds. If it could be pitching yourself a charity, a thought. If you've got something to say, please, now's the, same, um, now's the time to do it. Put up your hand so I can see you. We've got Phoebe one and Teddy two. Let's go Phoebe and Teddy. Phoebe, what have you got for us? Okay, awesome. Um, so I just wanted to share that this week, I've also interviewed an amazing video content marketer who has literally like gone from, it's incredible because at a time like this, people are pivoting more than ever before. And what I've seen is that this video marketer who has worked with people like Tony Robbins, Grant Cardone, um, he, he's based in Japan and he has a video marketing agency that normally would film for the big guys. So like uh, we're talking like, you know, Frank Kern, Tony Robbins, all those kind of guys. And we've just teamed up to create a, um, well, he has a webinar funnel um, that he normally teaches clients how to create video marketing content um, through creating a video marketing uh, series and video funnel. So if anyone wants to jump on that as well, um, that's happening on the 14th of July and that's with Ken Okazaki. So if you guys look him up, he's absolutely fabulous. Um, I will also leave a, um, a link to that as well so that anyone can um, obviously join that and learn from him. Um, but I've got like, I've got links to that. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll send yeah, that to you right definitely now. Definitely share the links. Yeah, I'll share the links and also to my LinkedIn so that you guys can watch the videos because I've been putting up replays of my interview with him um, throughout LinkedIn. So feel free to connect with me if, we, if you haven't already as well. Um, oh. guys. Phoebe, and you're coming to Sydney soon, aren't you? When, you're, when are you coming to Sydney, Phoebe? Yeah, well, it was going to be um, the 21st of July, but like Victoria is a bit funny at the moment with COVID. And so I'm kind of like keeping an eye on the news, hoping that they don't lock us all down. Um, But yeah, I'll be getting my flights closer to the date. So most likely 21st of July. Um, So I'm looking forward to catching up with you guys and definitely you, Ed. It's been too long. We haven't even physically met yet but i feel like we know you so well so absolutely don't worry we'll just say you're up for a liberal party scott morrison business we'll sort everything out we'll uh, make a few phone <laughs> calls <laughs> and speaking of powerful and connected teddy what have you got for us 
Hi, sorry, I had to unmute myself. Um, yeah, no, I just wanted to um, reiterate something that has been brought up in the previous event, but um, it was it it was um, in, reinforced to me uh, this week. Um, it's um, kindness. Like when we're kind, we don't know how far it will go. We, we don't know what our moment of kindness that we share with someone or we give towards someone uh, will do for them. Yesterday, I was taking a walk with my son. It was his birthday. And um, there was a couple of guys walking in front of us. And they turned around and recognized my son. I didn't know who they were, but they recognized my son. My son used to work at the shopping plaza where they had just been. And they said, oh, um, Zach, we miss you so much. And they said, is this your mother? And they said, yes, of course. Said, yeah, this is my mom. And they addressed me and they said, your son is the kindest person we have met. He had always treated us with respect and kindness and always um, addressed us um, in, in, a, in a kind way. And for a mother to hear that um, after raising a son for 28 years, you know, and for getting that feedback from other people. Um, and my son told me their story and why they felt that way um, after they had um, walked ahead of us. And I realized, you know, we don't know how far our moment of kindness will go because it could be that person's last, you know, vestige of hope for that day. And, um, and you know, they're still alive. And, um, and they, they look back to that, um, to that moment. So, yeah, it's, it's not hard to, um, to show kindness. Everybody can do that. We all have that in our hearts. So give it freely. That's all. Oh, Teddy, round of applause, beautiful. And before as well, Chris Sorello and, um, sorry, I forgot your wonderful wife's name. They had a charity they want to share, their own charity. Is it the Edward Zier Foundation for Starving Persians, is it? And what's the charity? Go for it, guys. If you need it, Edward. <laughs> uh, we both volunteer for a charity in Perth, so Carlos might uh, like that. It's called Fresh Start. Uh, it's for drug and rehabilitation uh, of men, women, uh, growing up children as well that are addicted to drugs. Yep. And um, I'm actually, I've just started my master's in counselling. So I'm really looking forward to doing some voluntary work there. They, as part of their program, they have a really amazing drug called naltrexone, which can get um, addicts the time they need to recover without um, having to use. But they also have a really amazing program where they provide support and counselling, not just for addicts, but for their families and the support people in their life as well. So we really love Fresh Start and um, we just think it's an amazing charity and organisation. Yeah. Oh, it's a pleasure, Noble, you two. Round of applause, a big thank you. Um, we've got uh, Brandon uh, Gitterson. Um, let's put up his hand. Brandon, um, how you doing? Yes. Uh, how you doing? Good, good. And you actually got my last name correct, so I'm very happy about that. Um, yes. Hello, uh, here from Long Island, New York. Um, I am a commercial real estate broker, uh, but for the purposes of this call, I host a, uh, a cultural meetup where I highlight somebody of a different cultural background. They present, I do breakout rooms, round the room intros, uh, and it's really just to educate people more on, um, people's heritages and people's cultures. Um, also looking to connect with engaged LinkedIn users as well. So I just put my info in the chat and I would love to connect further with everyone. So thank you very much for the meetup, Ed. Oh, it's a pleasure. What, what nationality is your last name? I can't, is it Polish or something? Uh, so uh, um, it's uh, Swedish actually. Ah, Swedish, like Greta, yeah. like how dare you Swedish, like Ikea, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. Put up your hand if you think Ikea meatballs are the best meatballs in the universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there thank you, you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, <laughs> now, Brandon, it's an honor having you with us. and I love your meetup. Make sure you share, up, uh, you share your meetup as well. It's an absolute honor and privilege to have you with us. Thank you again. Thank you. Pleasure. Now, we've got a few minutes left. Um, we've got time for one closing thought um before we officially close the evening so who has got a very cool closing thought that we're going to finish the evening on who's got a closing thought that you're going to finish the evening on olivia 
the closing thought goes to you. The floor is yours, Olivia. Thank you. I just want to say that um, I thought it would be a challenge to stay awake because I'm not usually up at 4 a.m., but I didn't feel like sleepy at all. Like I'm really energized by meeting all you guys and, you know, living here in Florida. It's so nice to just be international and hear different accents. It's so cool to meet all my new Australia friends. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to, you know, keep this appointment weekly because I like the energy in this room so much. Oh, Olivia, what a great note to have finished email. A round of applause to everyone. Thank you. So we've reached the end of an hour. Um, we've come to our awesome energetic conclusion. So just a few things as well, just to let you know. Um, please as well take photos, share this on LinkedIn, share this on Facebook. If you can take our meetup link and share around the more people, the better. Uh, make sure you connect with everyone as well. And just to let you know as well, Show Lassie lots of love. It's Lassie's birthday. Can we give another thumbs up for Lassie and her birthday? So make sure you show Lassie lots of love. The other thing as well, um, as a point, make sure you book in nice and early next Thursday, 6 p.m. Sydney time. Good news is, um, in terms of the alien invaders, the waiting room looks like it worked well. So we're able to screen out all the nitwits and just keep the awesome people like you. So thank God that that technology worked. I had my finger on that leave button ready to fire and I didn't have to use it. So there you go. And the other thing I was going to say as well, um, yeah, in Australia, our face-to-face -face workshops are coming back, so stay tuned, I'm here for that one. So my friends, I am going to hit unmute all. Let's finish with a round of applause. Thank you very much and bless your amazing hearts. Yay. Thank you. Thank you, Edward. Thanks, Thanks everybody. You can all, awesome. Yeah, you can all connect with me, it's fantastic. There you go. Join us Tuesday night. Happy birthday again, Lassie. Happy yeah, birthday. Happy birthday, Lassie. No. Happy birthday, Lassie. Dad. Have a great happy night, Lassie. It is for me, Talia. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, Lassie. Thanks, Thanks everyone. Good evening, yeah. everyone. Enjoy. Hey, Edward. Happy birthday, Lassie. Hi, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.